Clone Supercharger Blimp is one of the best uses of the Blimp in the whole of Clash of Clans. When you pair it with Rocket Launch, you get an amazing three-star strategy, and I'm going to show you how to use it today. Let's get into it. So this is the army composition that you will need for this attack. Normally, I take around 16 Rocket Loons, 13 or 14 regular Loons, and then just mix it up with the rest of it. The spell composition is pretty straightforward. You have five Invisies and you have two Clones. That's it. That's all you have space for. In your CC then, so you have the Blimp, you then have five Barbarians, you have three Wall Breakers, two Super Archers, one Super Wizard. Spell composition in the CC then, I take one Rage and then I take a Freeze. But that's the composition. Let's see how it works. So here is the base that we're going to look at first. Again, this is a random hit. This diamond base style is very good for it. If you look at what we have here, so we have the Eagle, we have uh, the Town Hall. Now they're within a kind of 12 tile distance of each other. Super Archers will hit that. So they have a six tile uh, targeting range and then they'll, they'll hit up to 11 or 12 tiles. Now, if you look at the damage we've got in here, now if we can drop the Super Archer Blimp, if we can move from 12 o'clock, uh, we can get the Super Archer Blimp the whole way through here. If we drop it here, that's a lot of damage in there. So we can get the Eagle, we can get the Infernos, we can probably get the CC, uh, the Wizard Tower, the Cannon, we can get this, the, those symmetrical bases, they're brilliant for this attack. Now, realistically, we can even get the Town Hall. Now, that's a lot. That is a lot of stuff to take down just with the Blimp itself. Then that leaves some nice path in for our heroes to go around the rest of the base. Now, if we do get all of this, and this is what we're trying to get here, if we get all of this with the Super Archer Blimp, so that's all gone, then basically, we can send our heroes through here. They'll take out the enemy queen. They'll take out all of these defenses as they go. Uh, they'll follow right around to here and they'll probably get down as far as here, to be honest. That leaves then just this compartment for our Rockolins to take out, which isn't a lot. So the Rockolins can take that pretty easily. There's no spells for the Rockolins other than one freeze, which sometimes used for Rockolins, sometimes used for heroes. But realistically, as long as you get the value from your Super Archer Blimp, it's easy peasy. Let's have a look at the raid and see exactly what happened. First step, always get your loons down. So about nine loons down on the entry point that you want to send the blimp through. Warden in behind and then the blimp in behind that. Early on the warden tome to get the blimp as far into the base as you can. So I want to get it down on top of that air defense just after the eagle. No problem at all. Now that entry doesn't look too baited to be fair. So it's going to make it quite easily. There we are. Then you get your invisi, your clones, your rage all down. And then every four and a half seconds, you're invisian. That's it. Just keep an eye. Now you will lose the barbs and everything. They'll just go flying out. Keep an eye on the super archers. So the super archers will get cloned. You'll end up with four of those. So just keep it a close eye on those. The the super waves, because it's got a it's a shorter targeting range, you will tend to lose the super waves as well. The super archers you keep up for quite a while. Now on this occasion, I didn't get exactly everything I wanted, but it's pretty good. We're up around the 30% mark. So that's bloody good for this attack strategy. Didn't get the multi. That's the probably the only disappointing bit about this particular entry. But next stage, we've got the heroes now coming in from the left-hand side. They're going to go anti-clockwise round the base. And they're going to be responsible for taking out this left-hand side. Now, regular wall breakers, not great against the multi. I didn't really think they were going to get into the base at all. That's why I sent the Royal Champion with the other two heroes too. Free spell then to make sure she gets through the enemy queen. Once she's down, I mean, that's it. There's nothing left up that's going to be a problem for this base. The Rocket Loons are so good. We've got two Hounds for the Rocket Loons to protect him. So I send one in for the top to protect him going into the multi. Another on the right-hand side to tank for the scatter shot. And then you just pepper in, in Rocket Loons two or three bunches at a time to go in and take out those defenses. My heroes are still moving around on the bottom. The Queen has still got her ability. Just look at Hound up. Now, the cleanup is important as well because you haven't really got a lot of space. So those 10 minions, they are, they're key to making sure that you don't time fail on this. Because I have I have, uh, I have tried this without any cleanup minions. So I've tried it with uh, some extra loons and stuff and it's probably not as good. It's just so strong. Now, Rick of the Dutch Rick fame, uh, he turned me on the, to this uh, during the Celebrate Our Clamate video I did for him. 
and I've been using it so much on this account. You can get that initial 30 to 35% damage. It's so tough not to three star on it. Rick, you are a superstar. Thanks, buddy. So let's have a look at another face that I three star with this strategy. Uh, slightly different entry. We want to go in from nine o'clock this time. So we'll go in. We are going to fight a sweeper. So we're going to have to use the freeze early. But if I can drop it on the eagle, uh, I could probably drop it before the eagle. But the eagle kind of makes sense. If I drop it on the eagle, then we'll get, we'll definitely get the eagle. We'll get the town hall. We'll probably get all of this. Uh, we'll definitely get all of this, all of this, and probably down to here. So that's a whole chunk of the base missing. And that leaves some nice path in then. We can either send our heroes in from here through the base or around the base, take out the enemy queen, which would make sense. Uh, and then we can send our rock loons through here to meet up over here with our heroes. Now, either way will work. The only challenge you have uh, is trying to make sure that you get the enemy queen. Now, for this particular one, I added in a couple of headhunters. Headhunters do help with uh, with the push when you get the heroes on hero action. I learned this after two or three very, very close time fails. Because if your heroes get tied up too long battling uh, the enemy king or the enemy queen, it can mean the difference between a three star and a time fail. That's the strategy. Let's have a look and see if this one works just as well. And we are in. So there we go. We've got the, the nine loons down. We've got the warden in behind them. We've got the, the blimp in behind the warden. Exactly the same. Fighting the sweeper, which we knew. So we're probably going to freeze that up early. Just make sure that we get past it. There we go. The blimp. So it's now onto the warden's tome. The sweeper has been frozen up. It just missed that last one as well. On to the eagle. We got the invisi, we got the double clone, you got the rage, then you're just invisi in every four and a half seconds. Now for lower invisis, if you're going for like a turn all 12 or turn all 13 version, obviously the time is different, so be be mindful of that. Look at the value. So we're already at 22, 23, 25, with the damage that the warden's getting as well. I mean, we're nearly at the 30% already. And it's pretty consistent. You're always around the 30 to 35% mark. Unless you get a particularly compact base. And then I think you're looking at big value. You're looking at the 40 odd percent. Baby Dragon now down over at 730. King and Queen in on that side. Just to make sure that they're not fighting that single. So makes sense. And then it looks like we're probably going to send the Rocket Loons and everything else in from the top. Once the RC has got some... some there we go. Look, RC's. RC's already getting some nice defenses taken down for us. The Hound is straight in towards the enemy queen. Going to go right across her. Here's the rocket lens already. King and queen still moving around as well. And they are going to come up against a single very soon. But it's not the end of the world, actually. These rocket lens are in now on that right-hand compartment. And they're getting so much value. The scatter shot just doesn't know which way to look. Here the rocket lens in now helping the queen as well. The headhunters were so quick at getting those, those heroes down. That clean up headhunters. We have clean up headhunters. The Headhunters are a, an additional touch that I added later in the attack, actually. So uh, when I first started doing this, I wasn't taking any at all. I don't think Rick takes them either. Um, so it's something that I've added just because I was getting I was getting two or three time fails every day. Now, this is an account that I don't do my eight legend hits on every day. Otherwise, if I did, you know, I mean, I'd be at like uh, a million trophies or something. I'd be at a million trophies. Uh, but I'd be higher than I am. I barely keep myself in Lessons League on this account. On all my accounts, to be fair. But look at that for absolutely wrecking the base. We've still got the Queen going. We've still got some cleanup going. The Baby Dragon's still going. Come on. This attack strategy is so good. And guys, the final hit I wanted to show you. So you can see already, it's a similar-ish base. in the, It's a diamond formation. I mean, most, most of these bases uh, in, uh, in Titans are of a similar nature. Look, exactly the same entry. We've got the loons down, we've got the warden, we've got the blimp down in towards that eagle. So I want to get them right in up towards the eagle and the town hall so I can get as much damage as possible. The town hall is exposed, so I'm not expecting to get right up next to it. But look, right up in between the town hall and the eagle, like we did on the first uh, attack. We've got the tornado trap as well, but it doesn't matter. Those invisible spells are managing to make sure that those super archers are protected for as long as we possibly can. So much going down there. Super Wizard has managed to stay very close this time. So the Invisies are helping the Super Wizard as well. Super Archer still, look. 
33%. I mean, it's just, it's so, it's so strong. It's so strong. And, you know, there are people much better than me out there that will do a much better job of getting three stars than I do on this attack strategy. And if you do, if you do decide to use this and you get consistent three stars, let me know. I'll come across. I'll record them. We'll do an update on it. Uh, if you change anything, that would be brilliant. Show me a better version of this uh, than I currently have. I would love that. Here we have now the king, the RC, the queen, all moving in. The queen's job is just to get the town hall. The king and the RC are trying to funnel out the rest of these defenses down on the bottom. I'm not expecting the king, the queen to last very long. She's up against the enemy queen and the king and what happened. But then I've got the lava hounds and I've got the rocket loons still to come in. The RC can take out that whole right hand section on her own. The king's down there to support all the trash buildings on the outside. Rocket loons have found the Tesla farm and they're just absolutely wrecking everything. I hadn't used rocket loons. I'll be honest, I hadn't even touched rocket loons until this strategy. And I think I always have them unlocked now because I tend to do this. If I'm not doing a challenge or something on this account, I always have rocket loons unlocked because they're just ridiculously good, especially with an attack strategy where you're only using them as cleanup, really. And let's be honest, that's all they're doing. Once you get 35% of the base with just the blimp, the heroes are going to get another 40. Rocklands are getting 20%. GG. And guys, that is it for another video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget, it does help the channel. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll be back very soon with more Clash of Clans from Bastai Gaming. See you later.